These instructions provide an overview to the Salesforce system as well as instructions for how to create accounts and contacts. So Salesforce is a what's called a CRM or Constituent Relationship Management System and it's basically just a big database uh, that's uh, got a user interface for um, staff members of District B office to navigate through records that are created uh, throughout the year. And there's many features to Salesforce. Uh, there are so a series of videos that we've created as well as written instructions that explain how each of these features works. So uh, at the top right here you can select which app you're looking at and uh, this app menu determines uh, which of these objects or tabs you'll actually be able to see. So currently we're on the legislation uh, um, app. If you click Outreach and Mar Marketing you can see that there are a different set of tabs here. So whichever tab you're looking at you have the contacts and accounts objects uh, there because they pretty much are important to uh, or relate to any record you're going to be creating. Uh, on the side here you've got a list of recent items, uh, some links, to, some quick links to some commonly used uh, areas. On your home page here you have a list of tasks, calendar, and uh, some graphical representations of some report data which we'll discuss later. So uh, where the big heavy lifting happens is in these tabs uh, creating and finding records. So first we'll start with accounts and accounts represent pretty much any entity so an organization, a government agency, a business, what have you. And when you click on that accounts tab you'll see that there's both something called a list of views um, which can help you find um, or filter down through your accounts based on uh, the description listed in the view. And you can also uh, see all the recent uh, accounts that your particular user uh, login has looked at. And there's a new button. This is how you actually create new accounts. So we're going to go ahead and click new. And when filling out account information, you're basically just look. this is just contact information for the entity. So the account name is really important. Um, you want this to be the full written out name, uh, so CPC might be City Planning Commission. Uh, that way people who are um, new staff members to City Council uh, District B office will be able to follow along and don't have to learn all these acronyms before they know how to use the system. And then the parent account, um, that would be if um, the City Planning Commission is part of a larger entity, uh, which in this case it is. So uh, you might look up City of New Orleans, and this is what's called a lookup field, where you can actually relate it to other records. And because the City of New Orleans doesn't exist yet, and go ahead and click New. And if you click Save, that will go ahead and create that record. And now the City Planning Commission is actually linked to the account record for the City of New Orleans. You can go ahead and fill in information here. Uh, it's really important that you go ahead and completely fill in uh, all of the relevant contact details that you have. Uh, the system is going to be a lot more functional for uh, your coworkers and people who follow you if you've got complete contact information. So you shouldn't. Um, you know, just put the name and then skip all these other fields. And then type of entity, uh, this is a pick list field and this allows you to uh, categorize uh, what kind of entity this is. So we're going to go ahead and put city agency for the city planning commission. And then the specific type is a, a field that's dependent upon your selection and the type of entity. So uh, the different uh, possible options here will be dictated by what you select in the type of entity. So for city agency, we have no additional uh, specific types at this point. Uh, so we're just going to um, go with other. And then a description. Uh, this would be a good place to write exactly what the city planning commission's role is. And obviously you want to be more descriptive than that. So you go ahead and click Save, and now you've created an account record. So uh, once you've created a record, you can go ahead and see 
um, the details of that record and there's also something called related records now we don't have any uh, connected to the City Planning Commission yet but this related this list of related records shows you records of other uh, tabs or objects that are linked to this particular account so uh, as we explore other features this is going to become uh, incredibly important to understand and uh, um, it's really an, it helps you navigate to other records. So if you're looking at the City Planning Commission and you're interested at what land use matters um, relate to them, then you can come here and see the list of land use matters that are attached to their record. So in addition to uh, accounts, we also have contacts, and these records would represent uh, people. So uh, accounts represent entities and contacts represent people. And it's set up the same way. We have a list of views here, and then we have the list of recent contacts, and then we have the new button. And when you click new, uh, again, it's just basic contact information here. And we'll go ahead and make a record for the mayor. And I don't know why he's all capital. So we might uh, relate him to that City of New Orleans record that we just made. And we'll go ahead and make his title mayor. And then again, you don't want to leave any of this information blank. So, and obviously you want to fill that in with real information. And here again, we have a way to categorize uh, what kind of contact it is. So we're going to go ahead with and go city staff. And in this case, you can actually choose multiple different types. Um, so if he also happened to be a church leader, you could select that as well. And just by highlighting and then clicking these arrow buttons, uh, can allow you to move uh, values from back and forth. And it may be relevant to you to track uh, when somebody's birthday is. Um, it really is kind of to the discretion and this you know context of why you're creating the contact record. Um, in this case, I don't know Mitch's birthday, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. Uh, but that can be very useful for VIPs uh, that you want to recognize on their birthday. So then again, you click Save, and now we've created a contact record. So this has been an introduction to how the Salesforce system is organized and how to create both accounts and contacts. Uh, the next part of the series will um, uh, provide instruction on how to search and find records.